You know, I was hoping that we'd be able to get a different cowboy hat for this character. I don't really like the silhouette of the guy. Like the the, the hat is kind of flat brimmed. It's kind of weird. Got a new shipment in. Check out that box behind me, full of cigars. I found an amazing deal online. Like I don't know if it was post Christmas clearance or something, but I got like boxes and boxes of cigars for dirt cheap. Today I'm smoking a, a Baptiste by Oliva. I've never had a Baptiste, but I have had Olivas. So it's a brand I, I am experienced with. I'm only gonna hope for the best here. Hope you had a wonderful Tuesday, everybody. I got a lot of work done, but it was mostly spent on admin. Paying bills, dealing with uh, the upcoming uh, tax season. I did get a little work on my lore video done. I uh, got all of the audio recorded for it. For the next video, we're gonna be going all over all of the Radiant Quests for the Institute. Uh, and there are a lot of them, so it's gonna be a, a full jam-packed episode. And there are even some interesting lore ramifications. Nothing major, nothing mind-blowing, but uh, a few interesting things that I didn't think about before I started this series. So we'll be going over that. Now, I know many of you are, are probably wondering uh, about the, the Bethesda Xbox event today. Uh, yes, I will be live at the same time, but I'm not going to cover it. And the reason is because they're not covering any games I'm interested in. Uh, they're spitting the Starfield announcement and reveal off into a separate special broadcast. I'm interested in Starfield, which I think is really smart of them. You know, it's it's funny that they this is the first game in a brand new IP, and there's all this buzz and excitement over it, and they recognize that, and they're giving it the you know the custom and white glove treatment that it deserves. Uh, so they're going to be having a, a completely different special event just for talking Starfield news, which means that whatever Xbox event that they're having today in a couple of hours, I think it is, uh, they're not going to be talking about Starfield. And I went over the roster of the games that they are going to be talking about. Nothing really piqued my interest. Like, they're going to spend time on Redfall, which I think I complained about earlier. It just didn't... I, I'm, I don't... Never, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it, but... I don't think it's marketed for me. Like, it's... Its target audience is maybe a 13-year-old or something. It's, it's not... It's not for me. Uh, and, yeah, they've got uh, a couple other games that I'm not terribly interested in. They're going to be talking about Pentiment a bit, and I I want to love Pentiment. I want to play it, but I don't have time, and I don't think it would be a good game to broadcast. Like, I don't think it would be riveting for the for the, for the YouTube uh, streaming. But it seems like a game I'd really enjoy. The problem is that I bought it, and I started playing it, thinking that I'd uh, broadcast, it, uh, broadcast it. But I got 30 minutes into it, and even though I was intrigued by the world, the game itself, it's really medieval. <laughs> like, they did their research to the point where you've got characters that are referencing long, dead medieval states and events. And, like, I'm, I'm a history major, and I was lost. Like, they were talking about medieval history that I was not familiar with. Granted, I focused on you know, classical Grecian history, not medieval history, but still. Like, it was... Uh, so I, it would, I, I can imagine myself playing Pentiment as, uh, to enjoy it and enjoy the stories, but uh, to broadcast it, I think it would be a lot of people hearing uh, foreign-sounding nations and not making any sense. Plus a lot of archaic job titles and things that are really interesting to, to read about and think about, but might be confusing to somebody who is newly introduced to the game. All right, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. Good to see everybody. Toby, Jessica. Jessica says, um, hi, Oxhorn, I swear, if inflation keeps going up, we're going to be using caps in this world, too. Four dollars for a small bag of sugar? Four dollars for a bag of sugar? You're kidding me. I heard that eggs are now really expensive. But man, I can't, but four dollars for a bag of sugar, that is just absolutely bonkers. Luke says, good morning uh, to all my Aussie, uh, Aussies. Happy Australia Day. Thank you, Luke. Ha Luke, happy Australia Day. 
and it's good to see everybody on YouTube as well today. Sean Fernando, Julian Z, Mikhail Cosmos, Slatty Bartfast, Fish Key, uh, Duder, Ronimus, Alt, Grendel, Mila, Laura, uh, Lane Berry, The Mad Wizard, Mikhail Cosmos, and Julian Z with the first super chat of the day says, Hi Ox, so good to see you on this Evil West Wednesday. Hope you're well. Dead Space drops this Friday. Are you excited? Also can't wait for your lore video this weekend. I am excited and I'm also frustrated, right? I wanted it to drop tomorrow because I have scotch and smoke rings tomorrow. And I just finished my horror game that I was playing. Choo Choo Charles. So it's the perfect time for me to start Dead Space. And it drops on Friday, the day after my Thursday stream. Which means I'm probably gonna be playing Bendy and the, uh, uh, what's it called, the Dark Revival. I'll probably be playing Bendy. We started that during our charity broadcast uh, back in December. Uh, we got a couple of episodes in, and I don't know if I'm going to finish the game, but I am intrigued by the universe. Uh, so I'll probably play that for Scotch and Smoke Rings tomorrow, and then we'll start the Dead Space remaster the week after that. It'll have been out for nearly a week, but, I mean, what can you do? Timing. Timing is timing. Rachel says, loving this game, been missing a game with some good lore. Seems like you got the combat down too. Thanks, Rachel. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I appreciate it, I really do. And I'm, I'm getting through the, the fights. And yet I'm also really uh, self-critical because I, I tend to rely on the same couple of moves over and over again. Like if you notice, they, at the very beginning of the game, they drilled into you the counter. You press R when he flashes to counter. But I never do that. Instead, I roll out of the way. And the reason for that is because I i can't time it right. Like, 80% of the time when I try to counter, I still take damage. And I don't understand. Am I doing it wrong? Is there just this small window? Or do I have to hold it? Do I have to tap it? I don't get it. So I roll out of the way. So there, there are little things. I've managed to find a rhythm that works for me. But I tend to use the same couple of tricks over and over again. I get through the fights. I get through. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely not the kind of guy who uses the entire arsenal available to him to wreak havoc on the battlefield. But I'm still having fun with it. Uroa River Ur in the chat today says, Sup, Ox, do you have a definitive video about the Dunwich Krivekne phenomenon, or might you ever make one, even if it's a theory versus lore? So there is no lore that gives you a definitive answer to that. And there never will be. Uh, because the, uh, Bethesda will never clarify that. A good IP will always have mysteries. If you solve or answer some of the biggest mysteries in your IP, in a game or in a DLC or something like that, the, the franchise loses its savor, if that makes any sense. It loses its luster. Suddenly there's less intrigue. So they will never tell you who dropped the bombs first, and they will never clarify the whole Dunwich slash Kriv Vecna phenomenon. That will always be a mystery. They told us about Zetans, so the aliens are real. They clarified that one, but the whole Lovecraftian thing, that will forever be a mystery. That said, I could make a, a, like, a video about my guesses, but I never know. Like, I, If I'm gonna do a video on guesses, then I want to have something to back it up. But they really don't give anything. I mean, I did an entire video on the Dunwich building in Fallout 3. I did an entire video on Dunwich Horrors. We did an entire uh, series on Point Pleasant. Or no, not, not Point Pleasant, Point Lookout, where they they had the whole um, Dunwich stuff going on there. So I've covered all of that, but within all of those Lovecraftian stories, they don't really tie much together. They don't build upon each other. They don't even reference each other. Instead. It's almost as if they just kind of took a little bit out of Lovecraftian lore and made a mention of it and made a reference to it and put it in the Fallout universe just to be kind of like, hey, we read Lovecraft. You guys might recognize this. I don't really know if there's any meat and potatoes there. The, the big thing is that in Fallout 76, they kind of actually went deep into it. Like with the whole interloper and the buried creatures, suddenly the game almost but it has a more Lovecraftian footing. I'm really, I'm gonna be interested to see if they expand upon this in future Fallout 76 DLCs. 
but for now, we really don't have any answers. We could go through a top 15 weird Lovecraftian things in the Fallout Universe video, but we can't really tie them together. Vince M says, hey Ox, wanted to give a small update on my schooling. It's amazing how much code goes into each object in games. Anyway, have a great day, cheers. Thank you, Vince M. Yeah, I dabbled with coding myself when I was a young man. I bought a, a book on teaching myself visual C++ and uh, I installed it on my old Windows 95 computer. Or no, it was Windows 98, I think is what I had. And uh, I was making little applets and windows that were flying, and it was just a ton of coding and work. So yeah, I, uh, I love video games. I'd love to be involved in the making of video games. I don't think I could ever become a coder for video games because that is just an enormous job. You make one mistake and the entire thing crashes and then you got to sift through, you know, reams and reams of code to try and find the little decimal point that you messed up on. Rachel says, I think I am bread is the best choice for scotch and smokers. <laughs> well, that was a fun little deviation. We, we played a game called I am bread during my charity live streams. And uh, it wasn't meant for keyboards. It was meant for controllers. But I did my best to champion through. And I think we moved from the, the cutting board to the refrigerator. That, you know, that's, that's the goal of the game is to move a piece of bread that apparently has life and um, get it from one place to the next without collect collecting hair and dust and other things that make it inedible. Because that's the plot of the game. That was fun. Don't think I'll play it again, but it was fun. Beetle says, uh, full send, Ox. Love what you do. Thank you, Beetle. Alt Randall says, you need to use bombs more often? Bombs? There are bombs in this game? There's the shotgun. That's F. And then there's all my lightning powers. Bombs? Huh. Is that something I get in an upgrade later? Aurora Brer says, like, they left a lot of breadcrumbs, more than just a little, but I think it was cut content. Yeah, you know, I, I went through a lot of the cut content for Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 that was related to the whole Lovecraftian stuff, and there, uh, it was more of the same, you know? It sort of it touched upon the fringes of Lovecraftian lore, and it would, you know, have calls to... Uthuru, or whatever his name is. Zagotan, or whatever he said. And had, but again, no real answers. Like, we're, if there is some sort of omnipotent Lovecraftian horror that underpins the Fallout universe, they are, there are whispers to it in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. But we don't get any concrete answers. We don't see anything really substantial, aside from giant carved stone heads buried underground, some of which are made out of bronze, and a big, you know, throbbing plant-like creatures in Fallout 76. So there's some weird stuff, but no answers yet. Why? What, the lighter is always a problem. That guy in the kill detailing says Oxhorn can't afford a super chat today. But I wanted to mention that I'm having surgery on the 10th. My spinal cord stimulator broke, and they're replacing it. Do we all have a spinal cord, st cord stimulator? I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know my spinal cord needed stimulation. Well, that guy in the kill detailing, I'm so sorry to hear that it broke, and uh, yeah, surgery is never a, a small matter, but I'm glad you, you're getting the medical care that you need, and I hope it goes smoothly for you, my friend. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do after we complete Evil West, because I do kinda wanna dabble in the Hogwarts game. Again, Harry Potter, not exactly my style, but from everything I've read about this game, it's more just the world of Harry Potter and less the story of Harry Potter. 
which I like. Like, I, I, I could get into the wizarding world a little bit, and if I could make my own wizard in the wizarding world and have my own little story, that would be fun. But to go down the plot of the Harry Potter books, I don't know if I really want to do that. But that doesn't come out to early February, so if Evil West can't sustain us until early February, we'll have to find a game to replace it temporarily, and I'm not sure what that'll be. I was looking at Kingdom Come Deliverance, because that is uh, rec uh, recommended over and over and over again, but it's also really highly reviewed, and I want to give it a lot of uh, love and attention. I don't want to have to stop it when Hogwarts comes out. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I have to do. All right. Okay, oh, that's right. All right, we're at the oil fields. Uh, and we had just died at this fight. It's not a boss fight. I'm going to be able to get through it, but I made a couple of mistakes and we died. Uh, before we dive on through, there was a, uh, a reload. It was an autosave, and I just want to make sure that we got all the loot. Yeah, this is still... This is still uh, closed. Let's head on in. Beetle says, uh, Ox, swooping up the Resident Evil uh, village tonight. My son and I loved watching your vids, and my son dresses up as a zombie. It's a blast. We can't wait. Beetle, I'm so glad you're able to enjoy my videos with your son. That just tickles my heart. Thank you so much for sharing and letting me know. I hope you guys have fun tonight. Um, speaking of updates, I tweeted it out, but uh, the developers of uh, Metro Exodus are releasing a toolkit that is going to greatly improve their modding scene, which I thought was really cool. One of the things that I loved about Fallout 4 were the mods and the modding community. And for, uh, for them to, to basically send a love letter to the modding community by giving them this toolkit is so cool of them. So cool of them to do. And so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what the modding community for Metro Exodus comes up with. All right, time to get my game face on. Let's get through this fight.
Well, I got through it by using more of my toolkit. It was, um... That's an infuriating fight, because you can't clear the ads first and then work on the boss. Because after a little while, he just summons more ads, and you gotta kill him all over again. So you might as well just ignore them and work on the boss, uh, otherwise you're just gonna have to fight and kill more. Which means you're kiting the entire time. Then he's got uh, that one little trigger where you're supposed to shoot him to interrupt him, but uh, it's really quick. The problem is that if you're reloading, like the lever action rifle, for example, uh, that little trigger that he goes through, that, that call, it's so fast that reloading will cause you to miss it. Or what if you're doing something else? It's almost like in order to fight that guy, you have to be completely reactionary. If you're proactive and you're working on something else, then he'll do that and you can't respond in time because it's so quick. So you just have to sort of wait for him to react. But the nice thing is that it gave me a chance to use the crossbow. The crossbow fires so quickly that I was able to interrupt it there at the end. I managed to get through by using some of the rest of my toolkit, which I suppose is the goal of the game. It's to force you to use more of the toolkit. Jersey says spiders, anything but spiders. Yeah, it was like a spider zombie wolf creature. And then Cat5, the Game of Bronze Ox. Thank you so much, Cat5. Okay. Hey, who's there? <laughs> Shit. For a second there, I thought you were one of those demons. The National Guard barricaded us inside here before they headed off to protect the company office. If you want to find the man in charge, you need to use that crane to move those crates. I mean, couldn't you just sort of shimmy between that crack there or hop over it? Look, ladies and gentlemen, I am not an athletic man, but even I could get over this box, I think. Like, I could, I could get through this. This barrier is not, it's not a, it's not a bad barrier. It's not too much. I think I could do it. But okay, for the sake of plot, let's take care of it here. Money. Money. <laughs> it's the way he says it too. It's... All right. Well, I can't interact with that. Can't interact with that. So let's go up here. I can't interact with that either. Okay. Maybe I'm just pushing the wrong button. I was waiting for something to pop up and show me what button to push, but nothing did. Maybe I just pushed the wrong one.
No. Right, okay. Okay, that goes back to where we came. Oh, I see. We're going to be timed. to get all, all of those switches. Probably that. Just so many huge boxes just blocking the way. No other way to get around those boxes than to move them. Thanks for letting us out. Such blockage. The office. Where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Now, unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower, that'd be crazy. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the packs. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going. No, you can't do it. There's no way. Unless you use the zip line, which you, uh, you've used many, many times before. But that would be crazy. That's Gosh, just... we thought we were done for. This is crazy. The National Guard locked us in there, they said. Including one of their own, apparently. Thanks, National Guard. So glad you made it, sir. I'll need that. So after using my body to conduct the electricity to charge up those circuit breakers, I'm still low on batteries. Like, I wonder, hold on a second. If I, if I get electricity from this thing, will it recharge all my batteries? What the heck? I'm literally covered in electricity and yet my batteries are still depleted. God bless you, sir. The electrically augmented boomsticks spawning charged anomalies that deal damage on their path. Now that is interesting. That's uh, 7,300. I've only got 7,100 and a whole lot of other things to get. If the enemy is shot with a boomstick right before attacking, they take double damage. Right, so I got to time that one. Thanks to the improved fuse, the Scorcher can now spit flames 30% further. Also would be really useful. Could have used that in the last fight as well. Okay, thank you. I would like to go over here, please. Uh, 
Upgrade the magazine. These are all locked. Performing the zapper finisher produces a spike of electricity, dropping an energy pickup. Eh. All right, well, I think the one I want is this one, but I can't afford it yet. So let's save up. I've got one perk point. Yeah? No. Oh. I don't know if I even want this, because the point of my zapper pull is to get one guy away from a crowd of other guys. That'd be cool, but I use supercharged mode infrequently. Maximum energy increased. Okay. Right, I think the one I want is this. Right. Let's see. Infected vessel, we read about that. Any other... Here we go. A hive crone. Yeah, we never read this. Hive crones use insects to deliver droplets of vampiric compound to other vampires. Moths and flies that live off of the hive crone's open wounds deliver the droplets straight into the vampire's mouth, boosting their abilities during a fight. The creatures can also use their hives as shields to ward off attacks. Terrifying. We picked up all this lore already. It looks like there's one more here that we need to get. I can go see my family now. Almost. Ranker says, will you do a Dead Space broadcast on Friday? It will release 8 a.m. PST. Also, what game will you be playing for Scotch and Smoke Rings? You know, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I need time to work on my lore video. Uh, so, let's see. I'm going to work on my lore video. If I get it done early, maybe I'll do an early morning Friday broadcast for Dead Space, but no promises. I'll let you know on Twitter what I decide to do. In terms of uh, Scotch and Smoke Rings, I'll probably do Bendy and the Dark Revival, as it's a game that we kind of started already, and uh, we'll play that until Dead Space is ready. After a closer examination, I believe these trust documents are suspect. Every 30 years, the property rights are transferred to the next generation. However, I believe that Peter DeBono has likely been deeding them to himself for who knows how many years. Sincerely yours, Jonathan Q. Biddle. What a name, Jonathan Q. Biddle. Poor guy was bullied his entire life. See, that's what I mean. There's like a phantom light over here. Making me think there's something behind there. All right now, there's definitely something up there. But I don't see a way up there from here unless there's a... Uh... A whip pull around the back. No. Guess we're going to have to walk through to get that last one. Aha! <laughs> now we can afford it. Wait, did I want this one or did I want this one? Take double the damage. 
I mean, that's cool, too. Honestly, I think this is the one I want. Double the damage? Oh, uh, this one looks cooler. All right, let's do this. Better for the camera. And then I'll get that. Is that oil spewing into a lit fire? I mean, I don't, I, it's been a while since I've taken physics, but I think that would probably catch on fire. Hot. Oh, there's gonna be a fight in there. Wait, no, is that that's where I came from? There's gonna be a fight over here. It's like we're being herded. I don't like that.
I, this is really annoying because I kept on focusing on the guys up there because they are literally just lobbing bombs down at me, right? But as soon as I kill them, they respawn. I don't, like, do I, should I even bother? Because there's not enough room for there to be 10 of them up there, so it's not like they're going to stack. So if they're not going to stack, should I bother clearing ads at all and just focus on the main boss? Because there will always be ads there anyway, because they respawn. I'm starting to think that's the way this game works. You just got to focus on the boss. Okay, why can't I move my camera? Why am I locked into looking in one position? There we go. That was a mouse, a mouse issue. the oil fields are on fire. Not sure how the government's going to get any money from this place now. Yes! Okay! Virgil pops up. Oh god. Follow the pipes, huh? Something is firing on me. Something is lobbing bombs at me. What the heck is that? What's lobbing bombs at me? Of course it doesn't hurt them. More money. More money.
bursting bolts do? That sounds interesting. The crossbow shoots in rapid bursts of two bolts each. Nice. All right, so this is a nice big open area. I'm gonna have to make sure I get absolutely everything before moving on. It looks like that's how I move on. This place is a nightmare! So let's see, yeah. Boss is over there. Let's see if there's anything over here first. Yeah, look at that. Chest. It's a chesticle. Let's get it. Five hundred and forty-one. Damn. What the fuck is happening? Where did I come from? I always get turned around. I think I came from here. Yeah, there's the two entryways right there. So. I need to go down there. Is there any loot up here? You look that way. Okay, I've got 1,204. That's not enough for any of the upgrades that I want. Do I have any perk points? I don't think so. I got one new lore piece. Ah, nothing I can do. Oh, what is that? Oh, no. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, 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 it's low! Did I kill it? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Boom! 
Well, that was a nasty big boss with another nasty big boss. Christ, it's about time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. <laughs> oh, uh, oh the, these documents? The you ones must I'm be holding? The accountant. Uh, right. Jonathan Q. Biddle at your service. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the Ass government you ate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? Ten percent. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait. What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. Yeah, Biddle definitely bullied when he was in high school. Wow, what on earth was that thing we fought? Gonna have to check the bestiary. Turning the tides, my ass. More like lining your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie you daisy. sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious, and... First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now, as in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is gonna give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk... <laughs> Go ahead, Regium, do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass in a new gate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Oh, damn! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. Well, I can't wait to kill him later in the lot. That'll be fun. Walk William Rentier in, talk to William Rentier in his cell. All right, we gotta talk to Dad. You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. But you useless clowns. Oh my God. Well, it looks like there's a spot missing on the wall. I wonder what that's going to be. Okay, we need to go to father in the cell. Mr. Rentier, your father's waiting for you in the basement. Yes, we understand. But now we get to explore this whole place again, because every time we come back here, they drop money and lore just scattered around willy-nilly. We never know It'll where it's going to be. Uh, don't move, Reyes. That's what he said right before he died. Don't move. They'll hear you. And then they tore him apart. Fucking bats. Fucking plague. Fucking Harrow. Ah, damn. That hurt. Which is why we need to stay strong. It's like nothing we've ever witnessed before. A new age of empirism. That fucking Harrow needs to go. Yes, he does. And we've got plenty of reason for it. Not only has he just been an absolute jerk. And now we know he's a corrupt jerk. Mm, that's alarming. State Courier, January 1895. Massive difficulties encountered on the rail line between Dickinson and Marshall City. You know, he'd be a much more compelling villain if he wasn't such a jerk. Usually the most successful villains are charming. He's not. 
Gash. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Do you really feel war is coming? Full-blown war with the ticks? Your Dr. Blackwell deserves far more respect than those bureaucrats are giving him. <sighs> but not much we can do until we get free of those paper pushers in D.C. Yeah, well, I bet they wouldn't be so cocky if a tick came knocking on the White House door. Uh, probably not. But that would mean we failed. And no one wants that. The news is spreading fast. Daily News, May 1894. Eyewitness reported several mutilated bodies in the woods near Kingston. Interesting, so I can't go to the, uh, the saloon. They've got that blocked off by machinery. Doors closed anyway. Right, down we go. But how did you manage to extend its longevity? I'm surprised voltage that high didn't burn it out. It's all about the percentage of copper in the alloy. Yeah, I'll show you my notes. Seriously? I would love to see your original research. It would be an honor. So father is uh himself, or or at least temporarily. Talking to Karen okay. Blake, sharing with Virgil, that's good. Permission to speak freely, sir? You have to do something about that harrow prick. I can barely contain myself around him. I feel this urge to just punch him in that stupid mustache. <laughs> Don't we all? Okay, Daddy. Virgil and I were just having the most invigorating discussion. I was telling Director Rentier about my ideas for upgrading the gauntlet. <laughs> I must say it's refreshing to see young blood like Mr. Olney's coursing through Calico. We'll need his vital spirit if we're to rebuild the Institute's power and vigor. Well done, son. I think we may have given him a few too many vaults. He's looking younger. Glad to see you're in good shape, but uh, we've got a situation. In order to keep your condition quiet, Amelia told Harrow you died. He's pulled rank and is sending us out on money grubbing errands while Felicity's building her army. Harrow's head knows what's right, but his heart is tainted by lust for power and money. Uh, it's gonna get worse now that he got promoted. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move, and you could catch her and end this war on the subject of moving. You know what? Maybe let's wait for the dog to give the all clear before we start unbinding anyone. Oh, Edgar. Harrow's not an idiot. Without the Institute, this country would turn into a blood feast. Now, you tell me, son. What's more important? His approval or ending this war before it started? What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Death. Horrible monsters <laughs> appearing out of nowhere. Fire, fire, smoke, everything. And, and box cars. Scores of them. Filled with blood. That's how she's transporting the leeches now? By train? That's not good, sirs. Dickinson is a major cattle railway hub. The trains run in all directions. If there's an outbreak, we won't be able to contain it. Dickinson, here we go. Was it just me, or was his father looking a bit younger? Most of his gray hair had gone away. He was also a bit more lively in his conversation. Kind of bantering. Okay, that's a big, big moon. What planet are we on for the moon to be that big? Very atmospheric, though. Okay, Dickinson. Jesus Christ, what happened here? 
That is a big pile of burning bodies. They're starting to become a bit more generous with their generous with their cash. We used to pick up like 50 bucks here, 30 bucks there, and now it's close to 200 sometimes. afford anything no I'm still less than 2,000 gosh the next upgrade upgrade is gonna be 550 5,000 god that's a lot of money 3,700 5,500 and then this one I really want is 5,000 and I'm quite a ways to go Dickinson Livestock au uh, Auction. So are they, are they filling the cows with blood? No, all the cows are dead and burning. They're just, they're just here for the cattle car. Nick Barnhouse says, hey Ox, sorry I'm late. Was doing some removal here in Ohio during this winter storm but wanted to drop in due to it's my birthday. Could I get a smoke ship? Sure, sure, I love how smoke ships have turned into uh, the birthday presents from Oxhorn. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, what, what are we gonna make this? How about, um, how about a, a ship in Antarctic walk waters cracking through the ice as it sails on its way? All right, because you're dealing with ice in Ohio. Okay, here we go. Whoa! It was there for a brief moment, but it was there. If you were paying attention, a giant ship cracking through Antarctic ice on its way to its destination. There you go. Happy birthday, Nick Har Barnhouse. Glad you made it. Uh, okay, so I think we're on normal difficulty. Difficulty is the one the authors designed for desired player experience. All right, and that's what I'm playing on. This is desired player experience, everybody. Oh look, a giant arena. Oh, great. 
killed I killed two of them. Another one flew down, and we got a big flying bat thing. Can't see the game, Oxhorn, says chat. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, well, the good news is that I died, so you can see the entire fight again. Here we go. <laughs> My bad.
Okay, we got some new zombies here. Zealot. Zealots, like the Gauls, work hand-in-hand hand with the Sanguisige. They are stronger and have more endurance than Gauls do to the mutation that's been bred into them. They guard the hideouts of their highborn masters and display an uncanny and supernatural ability to quickly regenerate themselves after being injured. Gaul. Gauls are servant familiars who consume enough blood to understand the process of blood manipulation, also known as sanguikinesis. They use simple rituals and magic to make themselves incredibly fast. Although Gauls despise sunlight, it's not fatal to them. Often sanguisiges use Gauls to take on task that, tasks that must be performed during the day. They don't pass unnoticed, however, as their twisted and scarred faces terrify the common folk. Okay, well, uh, there you go. There's the fight. Uh, you didn't miss anything, right? Because I died the first time, and you saw the entire fight beginning to end. But we got a couple of uh, nasty new uh, enemies here. And then there was this guy in the last zone, the Gaster. Gasters are flying, maggot-like hybrids with tentacles. They were first sighted in central Maryland by the early German immigrants who colonized the Middletown Valley near the South Mountains. Their main function is the protection of newborn foul bloods. Right. I can't go back to get that charge up, can I? Great. to put the giggling girl Pasture over there with a bunch of baddies. Pasture over here with a bunch of baddies I just killed. Explore this. <laughs> and I don't need it now. Well, which is the right way? I don't want to progress the plot. There's something glowing in that outhouse. That's terrifying. What could be in the outhouse? Oh. 
am I doing on money? Not quite at 5,000 yet. What is happening? <laughs> outhouse here. Oh, it's a crystal. Oh, it's one of those creepy crystals. Alright, I'm thinking that's the way I need to go, but wasn't there... Wasn't there another path this way that I haven't explored yet? Let me see if I can find more loot. Yeah, more guys over here. Thank you. Okay, that's it. There's no other. Okay, so that was all just for one chest. All right. Blaze says this game is new, isn't it? It is. It was released uh, late last year. Okay, new cigar. Not bad, the Baptiste by Oliva. Definitely worth it for the deal I got. All right. Last <laughs> 
time I get a new perk point, I unlock more perks to buy, but I can barely afford to buy the perks that I've already unlocked. All right, I unlocked uh, Touchdown. Oh, no, I didn't unlock it. I'm still missing something. Hold left click and S to attack an enemy, lifting them up and smashing them into the ground, causing a massive explosion. Okay. Punchline, after finishing an entire melee combo, the next one starts with a powerful transition attack, which additionally grants a high amount of energy. Cool. Cannonball explosion. Vital superpowers, maximum health increased by 15%. Let's see. Wireless transmission. Killing an enemy with E-combo greatly increases the damage of the next three melee punches. I do this all the time. So, yeah. I'll probably want that one. Oh, and then there's this. Adds a strong explosion around an end of an E-combo. Cool. And I've got 5,000. All right, I can finally get the upgrade I wanted. I mean, the flamethrower upgrade would be great, but I definitely want this. Snapshot. Double, ex uh, double damage when he's about to attack me. Yeah. Padre in the chat says, so Box, still looking for that Fallout 4 bust? I may know a guy that knows a guy. Andy Masterton on YouTube. He does action figures, but he might be able to put you in touch with somebody if your Etsy plan falls through. I mean, if, do you know the guy? I, I mean, if you know a guy who knows a guy, I mean, yeah, I want to get my hands on a, uh, on a Fallout 4 bust. A, T45, a T45 bust. I haven't actually started looking on Etsy to try and find it. Okay. I wanted to show you how my new gauntlet works. You may have tamed the lightning and laid tracks across the continent, but you're still the same violent beasts you've always been. You just invented bigger and better clubs. Okay, there's a path up there to a church. I bet you that advances the plot. There's a path over there that where I killed a bunch of guys. Uh, I can't, I can't step over that big barrier. That's in my way. Uh, and then there's this sawmill. Oh. 175 buckaroos. Okay, it looks like I need to go to the church. So let's explore this battlefield. Hey, there's a chest over there. Gimme, gimme, gimme.
face Felicity. What? I gotta face Felicity now? Okay. Looks like I wanna. She's nasty. It looks like I need to go in there. Okay, yeah. Go in there. in the name of progress, with no thought spared for those paying the mortal cost of their quest for glory. That is true vampirism! My kind would never leave one of their children to die, crying in the gutter. I won't let you turn them. You don't listen! <laughs> they don't matter, Jesse Rente. The sooner you understand that, the better. <laughs> oh, no! No! All those people! Ah!
don't think you're gonna make it in time, girl. All dead. You'll pay for that, witch. We can't even attempt to go in and save everybody? <clears throat> Malchris says, I uh, might be wrong, but I think as soon as you meet a new monster, you can check lore before killing it. I think you are probably... Well, maybe you're right. But I think I also recall seeing uh, tooltips after I defeat the monster that adds it to my lore here. Um, Jonathan Q. Biddle. Oh, we forgot to read this one. <clears throat> An accountant working for James Harrow, monkey business has always been his forte. When he seized Andalusia's real estate king in Kingston, he didn't hesitate to take a piece for himself. He's smart, bent, and cold-hearted, and would sell his own mother if he could make a profit. Lone Wolf Airsoft says, <clears throat> Hey Ox, loving the stream so far. Just wanted to stop by and tell you a dad joke. Did you hear what happened to the Energizer Bunny? They were arrested for assault and battery. They keep going and going and going. Thank you, Lone Wolf, uh, Wolf Airsoft. Assault and battery. <laughs> Okay, big William stables, horses and carriages. I don't have a perk point, do I? No, and I don't have enough money yet for any upgrades. Now, you're too scared to face me in your own flesh. Humanity exists within cycles. If you live long enough, you notice the patterns that govern it. The pendulum may swing left and right, but ultimately, things remain the same exploitation, pain. And misery. It may look different, but it persists. The only way out is to break that pattern. But who says we want to get out? Aviro says, hey, Ox, glad to see you. Any plans to play Redfall? Uh, I'm going to have to look it up. I can't picture Redfall right now. It uh, doesn't ring a bell, but um, wait, is that the one that they're showcasing today? Uh, I'll have to look into it.
Small little brat. Always get what I want. Aviro T says, uh, oh, I read that one already. Thank you, Aviro T. Corey on Facebook says, you should try Phantasmagoria. It's an old PC game, so graphics are definitely lacking, but something I feel you would enjoy in your spare time. It's extremely scary to a point and click style like The Mist. I remember Mist and Riven back in the day. I enjoyed the games. Might be fun to revisit that style. Starting to add a few more moves to my repertoire here. Try, I keep trying to remember some of the things that I unlock and, and using them when necessary. Okay, so we've got a cable coming from this barn leading over there. Oh, we've got three different, look at that, three different lights we're gonna have to solve here. And I'm guessing this is just one of them. Dear Lord. Okay, so where's the energy? We gotta find the energy so that we can transport it to each of these cable boxes. One, two. She's still here, which means the transports aren't ready. Must have caught her off guard. And now she's scared I might be able to stop her. Good. Okay, so that's one. We know two is here. Okay, so that ladder leads up, but I can't get it. Uh, okay, so maybe I need... Uh... Ooh, there we go. Great, so I just need to climb that one to get to the vantage point for the other one. Okay, what can I see from here? New perk! But I don't have a perk point! Healthy lifestyle! Whenever an energy pickup is about to be dropped, a health pickup is created instead. What? Okay. So I, I, pri I could prioritize health or energy here. Okay, I see it in there. So was this just for the chest? I guess so. I could probably get it from there, so I need to go back.
Railgun. Ooh, what is this? The electrically augmented version of the Rentier rifle, capable of shooting piercing trails and charged amp shots. Hold left click to charge. Ooh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. 8,000. God, give me more money. I look at all of these skills I can't purchase because I don't have the money. One, two, three. On that, on this alone. Four, five, no, four, five, six. There are six different perks that I can't buy because I don't have the money, and I've been pretty thorough at getting all of the secrets. I'm going to get to the end of the game, and like half of the skill tree is going to be unavailable to me. <sighs> all right, so we got that, 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 that. Oh, did we miss one? It'll be the first time we missed one. We got all the rest. I bet you it's still here. I didn't miss it, did I? Hundred and eighty five, nice, but I mean each chest needs to be like two thousand if I'm gonna get all of these skill upgrades. There's a sacred relationship between the hunter and its prey. An understanding. Where that different Jesse Mentier. Why didn't he come? Villains always say that when they're afraid they might actually lose. We're not that different, you and I. You should join me, because I realize I can't defeat you. This old western town is great. I love this map. Bodies. What's she up to now? You better not be stashing those people somewhere you place you win. I mean, this is effective. I'm getting lots of health and energy pickups this way. Well, it looks like Hancock's about to come out onto the balcony and give a speech. about a, a game plots and I know that I'm sounding really finicky right now um, because I like this game but I'm, I'm kind of tired of the, the ultimate villains in the, in the game their motive is to end the cycle right their motive is just to end everything the way it is now because everything that that is now needs to be destroyed I mean even Ulysses and Lonesome Road have the same problem there's no hope in the bull or the bear so we need to destroy it all and start fresh the ultimate presumption is that by starting fresh, things as corrupt as the bull and the bear won't happen again. That's a huge presumption. Of course, it will happen again because humans are flawed and they make the same mistakes. This villain wants to end the quote-unquote cycle of right and left or whatever that is under the presumption that under vampiric rule, all of that will be gone. But we saw from the council earlier in the beginning of this game that even they were having disagreements. Vampires can disagree with vampires too. As long as there are going to be disagreements and people wanting more power than they have, or more wealth than they have, there will always be corruption and a repeat of this quote-unquote cycle. So, I'm kind of tired of that motif in games.
Yeah, I get it. You're a victim, and you had led this horrible childhood, and that's truly, genuinely awful. And the people who, who did this to you, Felicity, should be punished and held accountable. That doesn't mean you can wage war against all of humankind, right? The classic victim becomes a victimizer. <clears throat> Wait, did that give me the one I was missing? No. Rap. I missed some. This is my favorite map of all so far. Come <laughs> on. 
give me another perk point and a bunch more perks that I can't afford. Okay, so one perk point and I unlocked a bunch of perks. What's this? Healthy lifestyle. Oh, slam the fam. The zapper slam can now affect multiple midair enemies and deals increased blast damage proportional to the number of bodies slammed. Oh man, that would be great. I mean, okay, I should really focus on one skill tree and unlock it as much as I can. Otherwise, I'm going to be all over the map with, you know, subpar weakened stuff. I don't get this till 14. I'm only 11 now. I don't get this till 12. I'm only 11 now. So, I should probably get this one so I can get this one. Well, then at, at level 11, at 12, I'm only going to be able to have one more perk point. That would be useful, but situationally. Grants more energy. Grants more energy. Consumes energy. Grant's health. These are all just extras. I guess I'll do this one. I'm at 5,000 now. Let's see. Burning enemies receive 30% more melee damage. That's more for my Scorcher. I use my Scorcher. I like it, but uh, let's see. Great finish for the Gauntlet. Performing the Zapper Finisher produces a spike of electricity, dropping energy pickups. To finish an enemy with a Zapper, perform either a dash or a pull on a near-death opponent. And so that simply generates more health pickups. Thanks to the more efficient power module, the Crippling Rod effect and now lasts 20% longer. Okay. I haven't done any upgrades for my skill bow, my crossbow yet. Let's do this. And then I'll be able to get this one pretty quickly. Okay, did I miss anything back here? Garrett on Facebook says, Hey Ox, Starfield's solo showcase is coming out sometime soon. You should definitely stream it, similar to your E3 streams you used to do. Yeah, I did one E3 stream, I think it was, uh, years ago, and that, that was when they announced Fallout 76. Because they had this big build-up. I mean, uh, give Bethesda credit, when it comes to marketing their games, they, they do a really good job of stoking anticipation for, the, for their new games. Um, yeah, I really want to uh, broadcast the... Starfield showcase so that I can react to it live. Uh, it'll just have to coincide with good timing for my broadcasts. We'll see. Once I get a date for that, I'll be able to know if I can do it. But I'd like to. Now, I think that actually was the last piece of lore 
that I needed for... No, no, I got all of her diary. What's that then? I must have missed it. Got you now. Oh, this is gonna be awful. There we go. about to leave the station. <laughs> Do you hear them singing? That's humanity's requiem. You can be mankind's last sad note, or you can be part of a new opening chord. It's only natural to feel fear while standing on the precipice of change. Sometimes what you need is a little push. Uh, come on, what is this? Try not to kill him, my child. <laughs> Let it break poor William's heart. <laughs> <laughs> right, run! No! No! Come on! Oh my God! I'm gonna have to try this over and over again until I figure it out, I guess. got a tail swoop. I can avoid damage from the tail swoop if I dodge, but then he chains the tail swoop. He summons the leech monsters and they go down pretty quick, but while he's doing that, he's attacking me from a distance. Once the leech monsters are dead, he's got these three claw blood things that come out 
that attack me from a distance. Okay. <laughs> If I get if I get hit by one, I can't dodge the rest. Crystal Hollow says, "Dang, it don't let up with the melee. Is it invulnerable when it spawns them things? I don't know." <laughs>
unlock the adapter or die, you die. <sighs> Starting to worry you'd never wake up. Feels like I got hit by a train. Those demons and Dickinson did a real number on you. Still, you'll live to fight another day. For all the good it did me. <laughs> we all have our crosses to bear, my son. Even our Lord Jesus Christ fell three times on the fateful road to Calvary. We are none of us immune to trials of the flesh. At least he could finish his mission. Oh, come now. Here I thought you rentiers were made of sterner stuff. You heard of us. How? A few of your agents set up camp in the mountains a while back. Quiet lads. <laughs> but goodness, were they fond of their moonshine. I didn't know we had a cell up here. The lightning storms at their camp did much to stoke local superstition about thunderbirds and other such nonsense. Hold on. Did you say lightning storms? When they were deep in their cups, they'd ramble on and on about how they could channel the power of lightning through their metal gloves. I need to contact my people in Calico. Is there a telegraph station nearby? A couple of miles south, sure. But there's one small problem. Probably should have led with that, Padre. <laughs> they started creeping out from the holes in the ground after we got back from Dickinson. Lord knows how many of them there are by now. Send your fastest man out to the telegraph station, then get everyone into the church and stay put until dawn. Before you go, Hunter, one of your people left this explosive contraption here last time. We were afraid to even touch it, but I'm sure you'll put it to good use. Is there anything more we can do to help? Pray. Cool, our final weapon, an explosives contraption. Explosive bundles. Compact and practical belt holding explosive charges dispensed straight into a throwing hand. Use it with three. So, like grenades? Yeah, like grenades. <laughs> cool. like it. Alright, so let me get this straight. The big boss lady summons a big monster for us to fight, and we defeat the monster. But, in our weakened state, she turns into a monster and one-shots us and leaves us there? Doesn't finish us off. Doesn't infect us with her vampire stuff. Doesn't kidnap us to torture or get information. Just leaves us there. And all the monsters go away, leaving their greatest enemy there, almost dead, but leaving him there so that a reverend can pick us up and nurse us back to health. Genius! These villains are genius! All right, uh, let's see, I got 400. That's not enough to do anything, but here's my final weapon. Sticky sticks. Explosive bundles now deal more damage and stick to enemies and explode after some time or can be detonated manually with three enemies with sticky sticks attached. Also explode on impact when cannonballed. Okay. Lore. Let's see. Bruch. Pyro says the plot armor was just too strong to kill him. You know, that plot armor, it's just indestructible. Brooch are created by combining the blood cells of an arthropod and a sanguisige. Peter Dabano bred the Brooch to provide a guardian angel for his daughter, Felicity. They move underground through tunnels and make a rustling sound similar to what a rattlesnake makes. 
Brush are loyal servants and will sacrifice themselves without a second thought to protect Felicity from harm. Well, I mean, the only silver lining here is that it is categorized under bosses, and so far, after defeating a boss, we haven't had to fight another one. Thank God. I really don't want to have to fight that again. Yeah, we missed one. Oh, I'm so bummed. All right, well, there's three in this one. It looks like that advances the path. Not sure I want to go that way just yet. Or does that advance the path? I just don't want to go down a path that I can't come back from until I loot everything. I've already missed one lore. Don't want to miss another. Okay, so that's a dead end. Good. Let's find another dead end, and then we'll have to make a choice between these two paths. I'm thinking that's the main path, and this is the side path, because it's a bit more obscure. Hello. What's down this way? Oh no, that looks like a boss fight. in there just yet. I think that advances where I'm supposed to go. God. So much around here to explore. All right, let's go this way. Ugh. That stinking gag of maggot. Oh, no!
I hate those bug ones, man. Gotta be worth our efforts. Destroy all nests. Hell yeah. That's the job. That's the. We gotta destroy all nests. Oh boy. Sarah Bear says that last boss was insane. Great job getting through it, Oxhorn. Fighting the good fight. Thank you so much. Okay, before I go any deeper, let me finish exploring everything behind me. Rolling map. We'll go up here. This just leads back here. So we jumped down there, we got the chest. Uh, I'm thinking this is the way we need to go to keep going. Yeah, that dives deeper in. So we could go up there. Let's go 
back here first. There's the other nest. Heroes. Heroes. <laughs> Seven-year-old kid drawing. And the voice actor was clearly an adult going, Heroes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, uh, one more cigar. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm jittery from all the adrenaline from those boss fights, just one after another. dots here. Now I know that there was one beneath us, but I don't want to get it yet because it's a it's an objective and I know we won't advance the plot until we get it. So I want to finish exploring first. All right, work life balance. <laughs> New perk. Let's check it out. Where is it? There down here. Work life balance. 25% of each health pickup goes to energy and vice versa. It's interesting. All right, 4,291. I don't think I can afford anything just yet. I could afford that. Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm starting to like the crossbow a lot better. It's really quick and it's punchy. Okay, I could zip line across from here. All right, tell you what, let's just destroy it while I'm here. Maybe it's an optional objective, I don't know. to go. Okay, so there's a bridge I could cross over there. There's a zip line I could take from up there over there. That's two ways across. Uh, doing my due diligence here. This brings us back out to Main Street. Good. goes back to the battlefield. Right? Yeah. All right, let's take the bridge. Beloved Heather, we've been saved. The Lord in heaven sent his angels to defend us. 
gauntlet-wielding soldiers of God came to our aid and decimated the devil's army. We owe them our lives. So the Rentier Institute came here? How did our character not know about this? Let's dance. This one's huge. I beg of you, stay where you are. Beasts have been appearing out of nowhere, killing and tearing our family apart. Let the good Lord protect you. Don't you ever come here, Martha. Pyro in the chat says, Bethesda stream ended. You guys missed nothing at all. See, that's what my suspicion was. Um, I thought it was just going to be, you know, talking about the games. They had already released a, a bit of details about nothing substantial, which, of course, is why they spun off the Starfield broadcast. They probably have a lot to share about that, <clears throat> and they uh, wanted to have a separate broadcast just for that. This one, I didn't really want to cover it. I didn't think it was going to be anything worth uh, talking about just yet. But we'll talk about anything that they did announce on t uh, tomorrow's Scotch and Smoke Rings. Nerf Revolver, all right. 
New character skin. We're unlocking the full ghost set here. Nice. Still haven't unlocked anything else for this. I mean, people in the chat are saying that I'm over halfway through the game now. And like, I've only, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I still haven't unlocked the ghost skins here. So I wonder what these final skins are. There's two more skin sets here. Huh. All right, so we got the final lore piece for this area. Nice. I'm not going to miss anything here. And that's good. Now the zip line goes from there down here. And that's the only other path I didn't explore. No need to go back that way. I'm glad we went this long route because we got that. Gotta be more careful. There's the zip line. We could have come from there. We jumped down from... Where did we jump down from? I think it was over there. Somewhere. There. We jumped down from there. So we could go there. We could go there. Great. Another big place to explore. What's this? Go 
going back the way we came, but we never went this path, so I want to make sure we got all the loot. We did. So now we can take the zip line. Yay! Okay, that's the other nest. We only need one more. But the other path looked really long. So I'm thinking we'll have to go through that anyway. No surprise, there's one in the cemetery. Charge bolt and slam the fan and e punch line. <laughs> it's just coming all at once. All right, I got 4,000. That I, I fully upgraded everything I can here. I have not fully upgraded this. That's 8,000. I can't afford that. Uh, I could start upgrading my boomstick here. I haven't really found a way to. I need to start upgrading my flamethrower, but there are still a couple of things over here that I could upgrade, but they're all too expensive. This is really the only one I can afford. But the flamethrower is situational. What do I want to save for? I want to save for this. This makes the crippling rod effect 20% longer, and I have been using, using that quite a bit. I also want that. But I got a perk point here, and I'm level 12. So a number of ways I can progress. Let's see, I could get this one. Adds a strong explosion around the end of an E-combo. And I do this all the time. Wider audience. I didn't get that? I thought I got that. No, I went this way. And I don't get that till 16. So I could start going down the uh, wider audience tree. Don't really need to use that a lot. Extra juice on a roll. I mean, yeah, I could use that. I want this too. Punchline. I do a bunch of uh, punch combos as well. That's an energy pickup. That's a massive exp right, Well, then I'll get this. Get back to the church. Okay, so that's sending me back the way I came. And yet there's a path over here I didn't explore. 
before you. Two of those giant shield guys and a big bat guy in a really confined space. Great.
son, it would appear that you're their hero. Your runner got an answer to my telegram? Looks like I was right. That mysterious cell in the mountains might have just what I need to upgrade my gauntlet. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say something like that. An occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll have Martha set you up with a fresh kit bag before you go. That won't be necessary. Son, part of being a hero is knowing when to let people help you. Even Jesus had his disciples. Yeah, but one of them turned out to be kind of an asshole. <laughs> Speaking of which, when those monsters started showing up, we telegraphed the authorities and they told us not to worry because Secretary Harrow was on the case personally. You did us a real kindness last night. I hope you know we won't forget it. Listen, next time, cut out the middleman and contact us directly. We're in Calico. I hope you find what you're looking for, son. And let's pray that there'll still be people like us alive once you find it. Because these days, we really need some heroes. Godspeed, Mr. Rentier. <sighs> I need a nap. Can I take a nap? Kate says... Glad I caught the stream. If nuclear winter cools the planet by seven degrees, we should use nukes to counter effect global warming slash climate change. A brilliant plan because nothing goes wrong by using nukes. Virgil, just popping out of nowhere. There you are. What are you doing here, Virgil? It's just always just appearing places. <laughs> Next time, try following the map, kid. Mr. Jesse. Okay, all right. Until that telegram came in, we all thought you were dead. Holy moly. This is where your father designed the first gauntlet. <laughs> I've heard the stories about this place, but I never dreamed I'd visit it myself. Oh boy, we're about to re-explore history. Uh, the gauntlet? Don't forget what we're here for. I need to upgrade it. This old lab should have what we need. What are we looking for? Okay, okay, I understand. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, according to your father, the key to upping the voltage of your gauntlet is reconnecting those transmitters to the central current reservoir. Oh, English verge. Okay, uh, I do a science-y thingy with your gauntlet, and you'll be running more charge than Edison himself could shake a circuit breaker at. Got it. I'll clear the way. You take care of finding the central reservoir-y thingy. Uh. <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did Virgil come from? Why does he always just appear out of thin air? All right, reach the reservoir to do a science-y thing to upgrade the gauntlet. What's it? Thank you, Virgil. Toby Noble says, take a nap, Ox. We'll meet back in an hour, lol. All right, sounds good. We'll all take five. Or an hour. Oh. Uh, I'll look for an alternative. Still yeah. not willing to go for a ride? It's the fastest way. Again, fastest, not safest, Mr. Jesse. I don't like the odds. He's gonna go look for an alternative. Why don't we just go with him? We can take that alternative together. Watch, this isn't gonna be the fastest way. We're gonna take this mine car, and we're gonna end up in a place where he is. He'll beat us there, or arrive just when we do. This isn't faster. All right. I've got 4,100, and I want to upgrade... <sighs> Everything I want to upgrade needs more money. I'm really frustrated with my explosive bundle, because during the fight, it was like it was on a timer. Let's have some fun. But look, now I'm able to throw them indefinitely. These things did an enormous amount of damage, but I felt like I could only use one every couple of seconds. Uh, Alt Grendel says, don't forget about using the grenades. Yeah, I, I used them in the last fight and they were really effective, but I kept on pressing three and it, this wouldn't pop up. Wait for it. All right, time to hop in the minecart. Yes! Yeah! 
This way! Ride. You enjoyed that way too much, Jesse. Oh man, we've got werewolves. Crap. I got one grenade out, and then it, it wouldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Dong Ho Choi says, uh, Ox, you missed my first super chat. Also, would you choose a short game for tomorrow so you can finish it in one stream and start Dead Space right away for next week? I don't know. I was thinking of doing Bendy. Um, but uh, if there's another really short game I can finish in one broadcast, maybe. Dong Ho Choi's earlier comment was, so it seems like Dead Space will release fr on Friday morning. Would have been perfect fit if they released it tomorrow instead. Yeah, I know, but what can you do? guy on the wall does all of this crowd control, which is just impossible to dodge.
help! I need a help! I mean, the one guy is almost dead. Oh my god! Get off of me! Oh, for Pete's sake! Oh my god! Really? Take a nap! Oh God! This is miserable. Man. been here 16 months now, and we are making progress. The harsh weather here has helped to accelerate the process. The lightning strikes have been helping us in our ongoing efforts to harness electricity. Soon, we will be able to use it as a weapon against our enemies. Such technology will give us the upper hand at last. Stay strong. Keep the faith. The future is nearly upon us. Oh, that was so miserable because you have this spider guy who's casting webs at you and his interrupt is so incredibly small that unless you're aiming at him when the icon pops up, you're not going to get it. So he's going to shoot webs at you and slows you down. Well, you've got werewolves chasing you and then you've got this crazy leech monster on the walls shooting lasers at you that never stop unless you point your gun at him and interrupt him with your shots. But you can't because you're being chased by werewolves and you're stuck by a spider monster. Like, ah, uh, come on. And I, I was waiting until I got rid of most of the ads to use my supercharged ability T, but when I did, I couldn't jump up on the wall and, and kill the guy and pummel him because he was on a wall. That was just brutal. Right. No more of that, please. Yeah, where, 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 yeah, I see you. You just spawned here. Because you knew a shortcut. Oh, Mr. Jesse, are they gone? For now. That doesn't look like it's working. All it needs is power. I was just about to turn on the generator over there when they appeared. Yeah, I'm on it. Keep your head down. Okay, power up the tower. So we need to run from there to there. Power up the tower. Let's look for loot and lore first. They would Fine. tell you what my total was at every time I loot a new chest, but they don't. No, can't afford what I want yet. Almost there. Gotta get to that other 
switch. Hope the lights won't wake those beasts up. I'm afraid one tower can't deliver enough power to the reservoir. I think it's safe to say you'll need to power up those over there, too. Let's get to it, then. Run to the walkway, and I'll clear the way ahead. So is this path still blocked? I mean, I see Those places right here. Oh, man. Hold on, wait a minute. Did I fully check this place over here? I think I did. That's where the TNT was, right? Yeah, all right. Five thousand. This is what I wanted. Oh, five thousand five hundred. Mr. Jesse, this way. Oh, shit. oh no. Burge, you okay? Virgil. That was close, Mr. Jesse. But I found a tunnel that might lead to the mines. Keep moving. It probably connects up with the main lab. Do me a favor, though. Try not to get killed. So wait a minute, wait a minute. I used my grenades to blow up a path right there. I left him behind me right there. I blew that path open. I walk up here, and he somehow appears behind this wall? Did this game not think this through? Like, did they just not think we wouldn't notice? Gotta squeeze through. Alright. Well, hopefully Virgil won't die. Hopefully. It's not like he's an annoying character or anything. level with tons of money and a bunch more things to unlock well, I was gonna get this but what did I unlock here triple charges explosive bundles are compressed to fit three charges instead of one they split up upon being thrown to hit multiple targets burning regular enemies deal splash damage upon death I mean I, I'm gonna need a big gun that deals a lot of damage for boss fights. But I use this pretty often in combat. It's just not giving me enough money to really do what I need to do. That's 8,000. It's going to take me forever to get to that point. Say cheese. All right, so there's two more lore pieces in here. And I've got a perk point. I need to be 16 for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I could really use that. I need to be 16 for that. 
I don't want to spend a whole perk point on that. Those are all situational. Well, these are the same thing. All right, so this uh, weak spot, maximum health increased. I, I rarely use cannonball. I mean, that would be great, but I think I need to get this one first. I did want that. Let's do this. I've been wanting this for a while. I thought I, I thought I crawled through a tunnel recently, but I guess there's another one here. Oh, that's tight. Okay. So we've got two switches to power up here. I'll take that. And there's the generator power source. See where we need to go. One switch is up there. Okay, I think that one's pretty easy. Okay, one down. That's too late. Okay, so clearly that one goes up in there. Can't make it without a rope. I need a rope to get over there. Okay. That's the other one. No power. This is nice. President Chester Arthur's letter. On this day, November 11th, 1884, awards $10,000 to the Capital Institute for their contribution to American science and to further their promising research. Keepers. Ghost gauntlet. Finally, I get the ghost skin for my gauntlet. I am all black and white. Almost.
Gotcha. I thought it was up here. Nope. Those rocks don't hurt me. Shit. That was pretty damn steep. Why they don't get many tourists around here, really, Jesse? I need a bio break really quickly. Be right back.
Okay, back in the saddle, Wendell Hensley became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Wendell Hensley. Toby Noble says, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. Holy cow, I finished High on Life just in the nick of time, didn't I? Uh, after all of the revelations of, uh, what's his name, Josh, the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Holy cow, that was awful. Adult Swim just severed ties with the guy. I mean, he deserved it. <laughs> Jeez. All right, hold on. Uh, new cigar. Laura says exactly two ox minutes. It's always two ox minutes. I'm telling you, when it comes to time, I'm always on ox time. Okay. Let's do it.
Throw it! Throw it! There are a lot of quirks about the, um, the grenade launcher that I don't understand and I don't like. When not in combat, you can throw them just as, long, as often as you want. It just goes on and on and on. When in combat, you can't, but I don't see a timer that shows me when they recharge again. Additionally, sometimes when I've got one cocked, I, I can't actually do anything with it. Let's see. Yes. Um, uh, maybe. Yes, kinda. All right. Let's do this. Not enough. Oh. Thought I was in perks. Okay, uh. No, um, no. Mm, yeah, yeah. Just need a little bit more money and then I can get the one that I want. All right, one more lore piece in this zone. There was dynamite up there, and I saw it just as I was crossing the bridge, but I can't go back to shoot it, and I couldn't find an angle to shoot it from down there, and I think I might have missed a secret because of it. We'll see. Road clear. March, 1887. Gentlemen, the latest gauntlet tests have been very encouraging, and I appreciate your hard work and dedication to the cause. However, I must insist we continue to put a high priority on security. Under no circumstances should tests be performed in the field. Everything must be kept top secret. Our enemies must not see the fruits of our research until we can wield it against them. Otherwise, we risk exposing ourselves to great danger. The safety of the entire world is at stake. All right, well, that was the final piece of lore. So at least we didn't miss that. I 
And this is the area I saw on the other side of that um, barricade. So maybe it's something we'll get up here. something blocking me down there. I have enough for an upgrade, but not the upgrade I want. I mean, I could use that, but it's 8,000. I could use that, but that's... Actually, no, I don't know if I want that. I want that, but it's 5,000. Never get tired of that. figure out how to get there first. One is up there. One is over there. I see. So I need to run across to get that and then jump down. Is it possible to do both with the same charm? Well, let me charge the one that I know how to do. And maybe that'll open up the one that I don't know how to do. Because there is a door down there. Maybe this opens that door. I'm taking it.
Okay, there's gotta be something that I'm missing. It's on top of this, but I don't find a way up there. Unless there's like a rope or something that I need to shoot to bring it down. Can't go back down there. That's just where the charge is. Okay, so how do I get up there? Zip line, oh my god. There's a zip line right there. Fear Heights. Okay. I think this is a good stopping point. We are over time. That's it for today, everybody. Thank you for joining me for my Wednesday broadcast of Evil West. I know that many of you um, watched my broadcast instead of watching the Bethesda showcase, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, we'll go over anything of interest that was revealed during the Bethesda showcase during my show Scotch and Smoke Rings tomorrow. We'll be playing Bendy and the Dark Revival, which we started during the charity live streams last December. So if you want to get caught up, I believe we did two different broadcasts. We didn't get very far. We got a couple hours into it, but I think it's a much longer game than that. I do want to play Dead Space. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a, a broadcast for Friday because I need that time to work on my lore video. But if I get it done, in time or early, then I'll let you know on Twitter if I'm going to do a live stream on Friday. So just uh, bear that in mind. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Scotch and Smoke Rings and then a lore video for the weekend. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.